Hey there, Scorpio. How are you today? Welcome to your daily tarot check-in for the energies that are around you, um, the overall energy of your day, and what advice spirit may have for how to uh, navigate these energies for your highest and greatest unfoldment. I kind of view this as these readings that I've been doing for the dailies, kind of as a, um, a meeting with your guidance counselor in Earth School. Not that it's Dean, but that our guidance counselor is Spirit, and how we can best navigate the lessons. To me, every challenge is a lesson, potential. But so is every positive that comes in. You know, how we view the difference between the positives and the negatives, that's perception. And that's solely on us. Spirit doesn't see it that way. To spirit, it's all love. And it's all a manifestation of love. How we choose to react or handle or behave, that's where we are at within our development and our growth. Um, as individuals and as our soul, our soul's group. Um, my, I've got some beliefs on what the soul is and what spirit is, and they're mine. And I'm not gonna keep them to myself right now. Okay, that was long enough. So I, <laughs> see, I don't see it that, you know, this avatar here named Dean also has its own soul. There's an energy to me, yeah. And I've been able to remember other lives, other incarnations here, but they weren't exactly Dean. I'm a, I see us as fractals of a greater soul that's above us. Almost like the anima mundi is of the earth um, and we are expressions thereof. Um, kind of like unique expressions, if you will. Because everyone's special. Anyway, sorry about that. Didn't I don't know where that rant came from. Uh, Spirit, please be with me now. Please help me bring forth the most clear and concise messages for the collective of Scorpio. Please guard me, protect me as I go within the tarot. We're looking for truth, we're looking for compassion, we're looking for forbearance. Not all truths are comfortable. A lot of them are. Spirit, what's the overall energy for Scorpio for this day? What's their overall energy for the day? What can we, what can we say is this overall energy for Scorpio? Scorpio? What you got going on there? The sun, illumination, clarity. Whew. It's a beautiful card. The sun. Shining the light down on me. What is this solar energy illuminating for Scorpio? What is the sun energy illuminating for the Scorpio Collective? What truths are being revealed in this light of Ra? Well, well, I usually only like one at a time, but those two seem to tell a story together. So, it's telling the truth, bringing to light around the, an empress energy. Abundant, fertile, has it going on in uh, she's sovereign over her domain and a five of swords see how the one sword has cut the yellow ribbon the solar plexus, the self someone's harsh words cut up someone else's sense of self that's how I see the five of swords especially in this deck so this is illuminating something about, I mean, this Empress energy can be yourself 
or it could be a Taurus or Libra. Both are ruled by Venus. Um, we'll see. What more can you tell us about this spirit? What else is going on here? Let's dive a little bit deeper, spirit. What else do we have going on here with this Empress and the Five of Swords? What's this about? What's this pertaining to within life? How will the... It's about a Three of Swords. Could be seen as a painful ending, could be a heartbreak. Um, something was communicated that, that hurt. It started in the mind, but then you feel it in the heart. Something is being illuminated around the Three of Swords. What more can you, let's dive deeper, Spirit. What more can you tell me? That's all, that's a third of the deck. <laughs> that's a third of the deck. That's a little more than we needed. Come on, Spirit, you know I'm simple. The fewer the cards, the better I can read. Ooh, there's temperance involved. There's temperance involved. Could be Sagittarius. I also see Libra as a card of temperance. There's healing involved. The healing around balancing. Balancing of the energies, balancing of the emotions and the mental space. Okay. Let's dive deeper, Spirit. What more can you tell me about this? What is being illuminated by the sun energy? There's also Seven of Swords. Someone may be acting um, unethical. Unethical. Winning at all costs. Five of Swords is also a winning at all costs kind of energy. But the Seven of Swords, they've wrapped the one sword with their solar plexus energy. They're putting their self above the others in a way that may not be that ethical to get their goodie. It's the American way, yo. Until we change it. I say we change it. <sighs> okay, spirit. What what else is going on here? What's So we have temperance, we have 7 of swords. So balance, and someone being sneaky, and the Hierophant, which is rules, traditional values. Okay, I'm seeing the Seven of Swords is kind of crossing the Hierophant energy here. And we need to be temperate with our emotions and our thoughts to see the truth of this. What advice do we have for Scorpio spirit? Yeah, those two really want to pop out together. Um, death, ending, fool, new beginning. Spirit seems to be recommending closing something out. When the death card comes out about a situation, it's done, it's final, it's over. And the fool is starting a new journey, taking off on a new beginning, a new path, a new, you know, new project, um, new relationship new energy. Spirit's saying, let it go. And open up with a fool's, you know, reckless abandon with that puppy energy going forward, going for it. The past is no more, doesn't exist. The future isn't here yet. So you're unburdened with thoughts of the future and not hindered by remnants of the past. That's what I have for you, Scorpio. Seems like a pretty solid day. You know, got the sun shining down, uncovering some, you know, 
shady empress energy. So it's a perfect Scorpio day. Anyway, I don't know how the story is for you. Only you do. Take care, Scorpio. Throw a thumbs up if you liked it. Drop a comment if it resonated. And I hope you come see me again. Have a beautiful day.